Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Grab your coffee. Grab your tea. Come stamp with me. Rose Ward, StampersDelight.com. Thank you so much for jo joining me. Let me put my glasses on. Let me just see who's on here. I had a little technical issue this morning, so hopefully everything comes through okay. Just to let you know, if it does freeze up, and I can tell from my end, if my side freezes up, I will just go out and hop back on. Okay, now that we got that out of the way. So a couple of things I just want to go over first. Okay, right now it is, and I apologize, it's not in color, but it's buy three, get get one free. This is the designer series paper special. Okay, and you buy three of these. This is from the annual catalog, not the holiday catalog, and you get one of these free. So that's one of the specials that are going on. A couple of things, other things is somebody is going to win this beautiful tote bag within the next couple of weeks. This is whoever gets me to that Maui mark, and I'm very, very close. So somebody's going to win this great tote bag, whether you use it for stamping or uh, going away. It's a great bag. Okay, next thing I want to go over, because I forget to tell people about this, is um, what I do when the, uh, the stampers come to my house for a class, every time they spend $50, or more every fifty dollars before shipping and tax I have this little card okay good morning everyone there's everybody I have this little uh, rewards card so for every fifty dollars they spend before shipping and tax they get a little stamp in here when the stamp is when the card is full it says a free single stamp that's when we had single stamps which we don't have anymore so it is you get a free stamp set worth twenty five dollars or less Okay, so let me tell you how it works if you're an online customer. I keep track of it. The girls or the stampers that come to my house have to keep track of their own cards. Obviously, I'm not going to mail this back and forth to my online customers, so I will put your name on it and keep track of that here. Just so everybody knows, okay? So that's the other thing I wanted to remind you about. Also, if you'd like to join my team, there's, it's never a bad time to join Stampin' Up! and join in the fun. You have nothing to lose and everything to gain, okay? So let me grab a sip of my coffee with my Christmas mug. This is going to be a little easier because now I can show the catalog. That was very, very hard not showing that catalog. So before I show the actual cards that are the project that I'm going to do, Stampin' Up! amazes me. I don't know how they know these things, but so they came out with this set, which I did a video on. And this stamp set, Come Together, they had a lot of these colors, okay, the, the peacock and the mint macaron. Not your normal fall colors, but I love them. I thought they were beautiful. So when I was picking up my fall, let me just grab this over here, my, my paper plates and everything for my downstairs room here for my classes, let me show you what I just found in the Christmas tree store. Look at the colors. The matching envelopes, or uh, matching envelopes, yeah, I think I'm stamping matching napkins, and the plates. How crazy is that? I mean, it's just like, look at this. Perfect. Perfect, especially this one. So, thank you for keeping in tune with everything stamping up, because now my paper goods match my cards. <laughs> Good evening, Anjani. Hi, Melanie. Hi, Fran. Okay, so the thing I'm going to show today, I'm just going to flip the camera, is on page 38, the countdown to Christmas. Now, when I first saw this, I mean, this is a countdown. It's, it's not really a calendar. Well, it would be for December because there's 25 boxes. And it's a great, great project kit. I don't have any little kids. I don't have any grandchildren. Of course, I do have my husband here, and he would love me to put little chocolates in there. But it wasn't the first thing on my list. And then we happened to be in a car traveling, and I started looking through my catalog like I always do. And I came up with something I call Christmas Countdown Project Kit with a twist. So stay tuned for that, because I think you're going to like it. Plus, I did some other... Um, 
playing with it and made some cards, of course. So let's see what I came up with. So first, here's my September host code. Now remember, if you have an order of $150 or more, don't use the code because you want to get the stamp and rewards. Okay, so let me bring the... Now remember, I did most of it because it would take too long. In this project kit, it gives you all the items you need. And then it shows you, let me open this up here. It's kind of long, so. I'm a visual person. So I just did the little boxes the way the visuals were. You can change it up if you want. And this is what the box looks like when you're done. I'll flip the camera around later, but you can see the cute little boxes. I left two of them blank so I could show you what we're going to do. And then I have to be careful because I don't want to give something away here. Um, let's see. Oh, here, number four. People ask how many things can you get in there. Well, here's some. Here's two little Reese's cups. They're the miniatures. They fit in there. Let me see what else I put in here. So they did put a couple of. Well, I can't show you the other things that I put in here until I show you what I'm going to do. So let me pull this one out, and I'm just going to slide this over here. So there's the little box. And with this kit, you get all these little pieces with the little curve cut out. And, of course, your numbers. And this one, you can follow the directions and do it the same way as here. You also get these stickers, which you can see I've used some of mine. So let me show you how easy this is. And you can add to it if you'd like. But you're going to want to see what I did afterwards. So this one, we got this little... bow and then a dimensional I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do Lisa asked if it only goes to 25 and that's part of my twist so just give me one second okay and that that's all there is to that and let me get my Tombow and just let me see just glue that and you can, I mean, you can add anything you want to this little cute kit. I'm just going to set that in there for a second. Okay. Now, the 25th, I didn't do yet. Oop. The 25th, I didn't do. And why didn't I do the 24th? There's the 24th. Okay. There's the 24th. So, for the 24th, that's this little guy. So we're going to grab this, and I just, I really did. I just did it exactly the way they showed in the pictures, but you can change it any way you want. Now, the 24th has, you can use either this 24 or the gold one. I'm going to use the gold one, and I'm just going to put this here. You can, Lisa, just and you'll see what I'm going to do in one second. Okay, so that's the 24th. Let's see, here's, and then we're going to put some of these little flowers on it. I have those on the other side, so you can't see them. So I'm just going to put a couple little flowers here. I think they're holly leaves or berry leaves. Let's just put those there. And you can also add a little something to it, like this. I'm so excited to show you this. You might not like it, but I'm excited. Okay, and I'm just going to put a couple of the red rhinestones in here. And again, just take my Tombow and glue that down. And then the 25th, empty that out. We have this cute little wooden one. We have the gold. And we have, I'm going to use the last of my wreaths. So here's the thing. I used up everything for my countdown, and I still have a lot of these pieces left. 
And actually, I would have had more of these, but I did some cards, and I'm going to show you those in one second. So for this one, I'm just going to bring in the direction, and it does show a little something stamped, but I'm not going to stamp it right now. I'm just going to put this little wreath here. I'm going to take my 25. And this one shows the red bow. Let me just bring it up. Or the red tail. I'm going to use the gold. I'm just going to put that there because I have an extra gold. I have a couple extra golds. I want the gold there. I want it to stand out a little bit more. And then again, so you can decorate it any way you want. You can go by the pictures and the instructions or you can change it up a little bit. Now to change it up a little bit, maybe on this one, even though it's all gold, maybe I'll put a little, a couple of uh, red rhinestones on it. So this is a little different than what the book shows. And that's all there is to it. So again, I mean, if you don't have children, your husband, your grandchildren, you can put little doodads in there little you can put little uh, if you have girls you can put small um, nail polish in there okay so here's what I did now you're gonna see me change this this is my twist okay everybody wants to know about the countdown how you can use it a different way well you don't have 31 boxes here so how do you do Halloween how do you do anything else let me show you what I did and I'm going to switch them in front of you. This is my countdown to anything. What I used was our annual catalog designer series paper. Yes, you only have 25 boxes. So you start 25 days before an event. The reason I call this my anything box or anything countdown is because it's pretty generic. It's just that gorgeous paper, which I have decorated didn't go crazy with the decorating because I'm not done yet that one didn't even have anything on it so let's say you've got a birthday coming up maybe you're hitting that big 4-0 maybe your birthday's on the 28th okay well you just start this one we're gonna I'm gonna show you what I did you're just gonna start 25 days before the 28th so you might have to start in the middle of the month Yes, you could do countdown for pets, birthdays. Okay, so here you go. Now, my birthday's on the 4th, so I would count down to 4. Somebody else's birthday's on the 24th. You just count down to the 24th. Let's say your birthday's on the 28th. So the 28th, you would just start on the 23rd and start counting down. This isn't a calendar. It's a countdown. It's a countdown. So, let me show you how this is going to work. I'm going to bring this one out. And where did I put my little pieces? Hopefully I have my pieces here. That's with 20. Oh, where did I put it? Okay, I might not be doing that one because I lost my pieces. Or I put them in the wrong one, let me see. Oh, how did I do that? Well, I got so excited. Where is, oh, I know, it's up here. <laughs> it's, I buried it, okay. Where did I bury it, though? Oh my goodness, it's really buried. Let me get this paper out of the way. It's a very large sheet of paper, so how could I lose it? I don't know, but I did. All right, well, I might have to wing this until I find it on my desk here. Oh, let's see. All right. Where did I leave that? Okay. Anyway, let's make believe I have a one there. I mean, a 20, 21 there. Oh, this is crazy. I would use my one inch punch, my one inch punch, and I'm just going to go in and I'm not, I'm purposely not doing something so I can show you. I would make this little cut out here, right? I would also use the punch for my numbers. But, since I can't find that yet, I'll have to show you on a different one. Let's say, let me bring this up. Let's say 
I don't want to count down to just to anything. I want to count down to Halloween. Okay. Again, you don't have 31 boxes. So you start on the, you know, on the 6th of the 6th of October and count down. But what I did, and I know you've probably seen people use the back side, right? What I did, let me pull this out. Here's one for Halloween. Here's one for a birthday. Little dinosaurs. Okay. What I did with mine, because if you glue these down, you can only use this for Christmas or countdown. But let's say you want to do Halloween. You have to be careful because it is paper. I put Velcro on my boxes. Velcro on the back of these little pieces. Now I can switch it out. Now I want to count down to my grandson's birthday. I change them all up to the dinosaurs. I want to count down to Halloween. This one would actually be down here, but I don't have the number 31 on there. I have the little poison. I can count down to Halloween. And I would put that there. Start October 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You get the idea. And you can put little treats in there. So use the Velcro. You do have to be careful. Again, like I said, it's paper. But you can count down to anything. So let me show you with one of these. Let me put my... Anything goes back. I can't believe I lost my 21, but you get the idea. So here's what I did. I just took some designer series paper, and it's one and three quarters by one and three quarters. It fits right there. Take your one inch punch, bring that in, punch that out, and it fits right on the box. Oh, you can't see that, so I'll put it right. And it fits right, fits right on the box. How's that, Lisa? You like that idea? Okay, so again, you just start. 25 days ahead of whatever date you're going to be celebrating. You can see I didn't finish all my little dinosaurs. But I have all these little pieces that I can put on there just by using the Velcro. I'm going to switch it all back around, but I have some goodies in here. I wanted to show you how many fit. Okay, so for Halloween, and we should put this, let's make, let's make believe this is the Halloween one. Pull that off. Put that on. So now, again, you get more bang for your buck because now you can use this for anything. In here, to see how many fit, I got these little pumpkin heads. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six in there, and they all fit. So if you have children or grandchildren and you're counting down to Halloween, you can put more than one in there. I'm going to put this here so you can see the difference. Let's turn this around so you can see the 11. So you can see, I can use this countdown box for anything. What'd you think? Did you, you can stamp the numbers I cheated. I actually did these um, with my computer and just put um, cardstock in there. But I think it's uh, what makes a difference. That stamp set has some great numbers. You can use that. But again, I just used my computer and printed them out because I was doing a bunch of them because I was I wanted to do a birthday one, the Anything Goes. Thanksgiving, you can count down to Thanksgiving and each day have something to be thankful for. So uh, use square dies to cut it. Yeah, you can use a square die if you have one. Ah, uh, Maureen, I thought so. And you stay tuned, Maureen, because I have something else. Thanks to you. Okay, so that's the box. Here's the stamp set. And again, I, okay, here's the stamp set. I love this stamp set. In particular, I love these two stamps right there. I'm just going to grab my coffee for a second because I'm getting a dry throat. Let me show you the cards I did with this. So the first card, look at that beautiful little cardinal. And I had a strip of glitter paper left, so I used that. Okay. 
And I, of course, my new go-to set. This doesn't have any sayings, so I just grabbed my itty-bitty Christmas. You gotta have this set. Got such great sayings. And the, the um, fonts are nice, and the size is nice. So this is Peace and Happiness. And then Thinking of You at Christmas. Let me bring that up so you can see. And, of course, I did the Thinking of You in the Mossy Meadow and then did the bird in the background. So that was one of my cards. Another card. Let me use this one. Remember I said you had extra pieces. And you, I still have extra pieces left. So you can use those. You can make a wreath and then you can use this for the bow. One, I used the subtle background. And there's one of those wreaths. Because you only need one wreath for the 25th. You get three of them. There's a wreath. This is our designer series paper from Come Together, I think it was. I, I, you know, did the subtle. And then you can see here, I put some Winkostella on there. I used our new colored rhinestones, holiday rhinestones, and did this card. Yes, you did. Trisha said she just ordered the itty bitty Christmas from me. Thank you, Trisha. You're going to love it. It is the best set for sayings. It's got such cute sayings, along with the host set in the back of the catalog. So that was another card. The next card, again, was sort of a simple stamped card. I stamped <clears throat> the bowel, bow, 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 you know what I mean, <laughs> holly leaves. And then I, I stamped the joy to the world, and then I used the um, subtle again. And our new ribbon, <clears throat> which I absolutely love, and it ties really nice, too, with this cherry cobbler striped ribbon. And I made this card, thinking of you at Christmas. Again, they've got such great sayings. The last one, and we're going to do some stamping. Actually, it's not the last one. This one, I just used everything I had already cut. This paper, which is in the catalog, the um, Toil Christmas, excuse me, is was already cut. This red piece was already cut. So I just stamped on the um, garden green, made a background. And then I had a couple of those pieces left from the little drawers, okay? Let me show you. Because they give you a couple extra. And you can just hide that piece that was cut out. The way I hid it was I used one of the wreaths and I used one of our round punches to punch out another circle. Let me bring it in. And then I fussy cut the cardinal. And I just layered it all up. And I love, I absolutely love layering this ribbon, the Roush red, with this ribbon. I just love layering those two. And that's what I did. And of course, I used the red rhinestones for the tree branch. I didn't do anything on the inside of that one yet. My last card to show you, and then we're going to do some stamping. Thank you, Maureen. If you watch Maureen's videos, Maureen Powers, thank you so much for the idea <laughs> of the overlay card. She did a video that I watched, and I kind of cased the idea, but I changed it up. So let me show you this card. Again, I used the Itty Bitty Christmas and the bird. I used our new shaded spruce ribbon, which is on the other side of the table, which I'm going to need. And, of course, our nestled dies. You open that up. And it says Merry Christmas. So thank you for that overlay idea that I cased from you. And that's one of the things I love about Stampin' Up! and the demonstrators and customers and friends. We love to share our ideas. So let me show you how I did this one first. Thanks to Maureen. Okay. I'm going to bring this in. I'm going to change it up again a little bit. Okay. So this piece is five and a half by four and a quarter. 
Thanks, Maureen. Thank you for the idea. Anybody that wants to get some more ideas, check Maureen's videos out. Okay, so this is, again, five and a half by four, uh, five and a quarter. You're going to score it at the one inch mark a couple of times. Thank you, Janine, Jeannie, Jean. <laughs> and I'm just going to fold that over. Now, you do want to get a good fold here, so bring in your bowl and folder. I'm gonna really okay I'm gonna bring in some more here okay so this piece right here is five by f uh, four by five let me just see it because I don't have my marker here or my okay I'll put the measurements in later I'm pretty sure it's four by five that's gonna be the bottom piece these are going to get layered right on top. Okay, now this one is red. I'm using the cherry cobbler. For this, what I did was, again, I took my Tombow. i just move that out of the way. And I put it right on my glitter paper. I just, I'm putting this in here just so I can see where I want it. I'm putting that under the flap. Okay, that's about right. And I got to leave that for a second, so I'm just going to grab some stamp pads and stick that on there. Then I'm going to stamp my bird in Early Espresso. I'm going to take, this is pretty quick, I'm going to take my blends in the cherry cobbler and I'm just gonna flick some dark here not a lot it's kinda small and then I'm just gonna blend that up with the light again this is cherry cobbler this that one over there was real red but I like to change it up a little bit got a little red off there I'll clean that up later And then this is a regular marker. Just add a little yellow to the beak. This should be dry. Let's see. Yep. Okay. This is actually going to go right over top of that. So again, I'm going to put some. Now this I can do the whole thing because it's going all the way on. going to lay that right over top of the flap here and again I'm just going to move that put my stamp pads on there while it's drying and in the meantime I'm going to do the inside saying and what I'm going to do with this one is I'm actually going to I've got to grab one of these I'm going to use the shaded spruce Pretty dry. Let me close up my early espresso. Uh, Maureen is uh, stamping with Maureen T. I'll put that on there. Or Maureen, you're on. So just uh, let them know where they can see your videos. Maureen is from Canada. So this is going to go right in here. And I'm going to use the season's greetings because I just think the bird looks nice with the season's greetings. We're going to put that right about there. I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. Now I'm going to use my snail. Put that right up here. And you see that it, the nestle dies. You can't, it sh doesn't show where you have your saying, so when you open it up, you can have your saying. Now, here's something. On this one, of course, it shows white because that's the back side of the uh, glitter paper. If you don't like that being bare, which I didn't, and I could have stamped this beforehand, but 
I'll do it now and hope it comes out. Do it the right way. I like to put something up there. Just so that when you open the card, you have something showing here. See? I did it back upside down there. And then I'm going to bring in my new holiday rhinestones. And I'm just going to add a couple here. Now, one thing... We have the red rhinestones in the uh, annual catalog. These are actually cherry cobbler. So here I have the red. This one I'm going to put some cherry cobbler. I definitely ordered more of these because I knew I would be using a lot of them. And I'm just going to add some onto the tree branch. You can try to put them on all these little uh, berries, but way too many. So I'm just going to add some like this. That's a large one. I don't want that. And there we go. Now, for the ribbon, on this one I used our shaded spruce, but for this one I am going to use the new cherry cobbler. And I never measure anything, so I never know whether it's going to work or not. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to, if I if it doesn't work in a bow, you can tie it in a knot. Don't sweat the small stuff. You're making a gorgeous card. People are going to love it. And I don't have my tweezers. I've been using my tweezers. Let me show you. Let me see if I can grab those. Um, no, I don't see them. Usually I put my tweezers here. I've been doing that a lot lately. And that holds it down while you're tying it. I thought I'd put it over here, but I didn't. Okay. Well, actually, I did pretty good without it. And then I just play with the bow to get it the way I want. I have way too long tails on this. Trust me, I'll find something to do with that. And then I'm just going to cut that off. Okay. So there you have the overlay card. Thank you again, Maureen. Okay, it's Stampin' Creations by Maureen. And we do love to share. Oh, you're welcome, Maureen. Thank you for the idea. Yeah, I just I just was sitting there thinking about it. After I saw it, I was like, I definitely have to do this card. But I wanted to add a little twist. We don't want to copy each other exactly, although we can because we love each other. Okay. So that was that card. Now let me show you one more. Let's see what time we got. Oh, yeah, we got a little bit more time. So let me show you how I did using the um, extras here. There's that card, right? Okay, so I have extras from the kit, and we're just going to play around with that. So this is green. I'm going to just... All right, I'm just going to stamp it off because I forgot my cleaner on the other side and grab the early no I'm gonna grab garden green not gonna matter the other green was the shaded spruce so and I'm just going to make a background here how easy is the background to make right and then I'm gonna grab this other stamp again this is all from the stamp set that it doesn't come with the countdown to Christmas. So if you don't like it, you can just add something else. And maybe a couple of these. And you don't have to ink it up every time either. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, there's my background. I'm going to take my glimmer paper. And again, a leftover piece that I had from another card. And this I'm going to glue down. You see I keep going back and forth from Tombow to Snail. Again, I never used to use Tombow. I always used the Fast Fuse when we had it. We don't. Well, let me tell you, I'm in love with Tombow. Okay. I'm just going to layer that down there. Then I'm going to bring in those two ribbons that I love working with so much. And for this one, I'm going to use the red side. See, I use the green here. So what I'm going to do is 
Or where I buried my snail. Oh, right there. All right, I'm just going to put a little snail on each side. This is how I wrap them and keep them in place. And I'm just going to cut that off. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put a little snail here. And you see, you can mix and match the red with the cherry cobbler. And you can use either side. That one, to me, has a little more red. So I'm going to go with the other side, which has a little more of the, I guess it's very vanilla. I'm doing this kind of quick because i got to get to work. Oh, i got time. Okay. And then I just play with it and make sure I got it where it's supposed to be. Okay. So there we go. That's going to be layered right on there. And I'm just going to snail this down. Again, it's just because I picked up the snail. I'm going to lay that right down there. Okay. Now I'm going to bring in those extra pieces that I had. And find one of those little boxes that I didn't use. And I should have left it out. Let's see if I can find it here. Okay. Definitely should have kept that out. I thought I actually did. Maybe it's over here. I'm losing everything today. Oh, there it is. Okay. This I'm going to put right here. And because of the ribbon, I'm actually going to use my dimensionals. So I'm going to put a dimensional here and here. On the outside so it holds around the ribbon, if that makes sense. Oh, thanks. Melanie says she's got her Christmas card. All right. Okay, I'm going to lay that right there. Hold that right into place. Then I am going to grab my little birdie. And I'm going to grab the espresso, which is right here. I'm just going to keep that open for a minute. And my scissors. Oh, actually, I should color them first, shouldn't I? Okay, so let's do a little coloring. Just a little bit. A little bit with the yellow. Hi, Jenny. Okay, and then I'm just going to fussy cut that real quick. I do want a little bit of an edge here. I don't want to get it real close because I want to hold, I want to hide that little circle. Remember, that was already cut out, but I get to use it on another project. And this is like, just like the uh, paper pumpkins in any of our kits. They always give you extra, so you can always make more out of it. Cards, projects. Okay, I'm just going to put that on. He's going to go right here. Okay, I'm going to hide that hole. Before I do that, let's see. I think I'm going to try this last piece of greenery. I could put that down there, but it's not going to show up too well. So let's do this. Put that down first. Put that up there. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so I got that little ribbon there. Actually, I'm just going to pick this up for a second because I just thought of something. Let's pick this up for a minute. I have bows left too, but I want more gold. So I'm just going to put that tail there. Just like that. 
I'm actually going to grab a dimensional, I think, for this guy. And since I have these leftover long pieces, they work perfect for that. So I'm just going to rip that off. Put that right there. Now I'll take that little piece of green, put it right under there. Voila. And then maybe add some rhinestones to the tree branches to make it look like berries. And it'll also bring out the color more. And then, of course, I would put the inside here. Partridge in a pear tree. There you go. Just like that. So there I used some of my leftovers. I hope you enjoyed my countdown to Christmas with a twist. Again, I will have pictures of the still shots of the cards. Again, I put a saying on that, but got to get ready for work. Actually, I'm ready for work. I just got to move to the other desk. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Let me switch this back. Again, so here are the two cards that we just I just did using the extra pieces. My overlay card, thanks to Maureen Power. A couple more. So if you were thinking about the Countdown to Christmas box... Now you know what you can, how you can use it for more things than Christmas. I'm going to bring that box back in here. Of course, now I have it on my other, well, actually, you can see on this side the three different ones that I have. Remember, the Christmas one does not have Velcro on it because that's the one you're going to, you know, use most of the time. But again, just to show you how I did it, there's my Velcro. Here's my Velcro. And you can use that box for anything. Countdown to birthdays, Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween, weddings, anniversaries, whatever your little heart desires. Just put the Velcro on there. I hope you really enjoyed this. I'm not sure if I'm going to be back on Sunday this week because it is my mother-in-law's 94th birthday. I'm not sure whether we're celebrating Saturday or Sunday. So just stay tuned. Um, if I can jump on Sunday, I will. But I just want to spend the day with her. So <laughs> thanks, Carolyn. So thank you all. Have a great weekend. I may see you Sunday. Just check my Facebook page probably like around 5 o'clock or, or earlier. If you don't hear from me, I'm not going to be on. I'll be back next Friday morning with another Facebook Live. And then that Sunday, I'll be going back to Sunday evenings too. So I'll be on Friday and Sundays. If you need a catalog, you need to order, just contact me, stampersdelight.com, Rose Ward. And follow me on YouTube. Have a great weekend. Keep on stamping, stampers. Bye.